Hey everyone, today we're going to be mostly trying to finish up AIR, the chatting service for random app making. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. The audio on this video is a little bad. I know. Uh, sometimes you can't hear me or you hear me like my volume's going up and down, up and down, and so on sort of forgot to plug in this microphone and I was basically using the computer's inside microphone. Uh, not to worry though, because uh, I tried my best to edit it and make sure that everyone can hear me. So anyways, yeah. So if I remember right, we did the forget password section. So I have not went on this app for probably, even though it says saved four days ago, uh, I have not actually touched this app or even interacted with it for a while. So if I duplicate something or say something that you've seen on the original random app making, yeah. Anyways, so if we go on the account and let's see here, we can see all the accounts that people have made. You should never ever expose the data that is being shown. And I can show you right here that a lot of people just interacted with making on this app. Um, you know, th there's a lot like, uh, can you please give me a name? Yo, is this app much popular? And like, I don't know what that is, but it says I can't enter your app. Yeah, there's all the accounts basically. But we're going to be pretty much reviewing what we've done before on the last video. So let's see, what's an account I'm going to choose? Great, we know it's you, and I'm going to say test. There we go. You change the password, change the username, and it says reset it to passwords. Uh, we should probably get started on getting this app ready so i'm gonna get create a new account so i'm gonna create a username and password that probably no one's gonna hack we'll do test the username and my password and obviously no one's gonna hack this because no one can see this obviously so we'll just do the security word is hello kitty and uh, let's do pro mode because, you know, I'm a pro mode person. So I'm going to go to Aircoin. And let's create a pro, uh, air, uh, pro mode Aircoin access code. So we'll do three. And the pass and the status will be valid. It looks like that we have a valid code. And I'm not sure who's going to get that. So, yeah. And I'll just do three. Um, see, it's fifty ninety nine for one account. And uh, redeem it. There we go. And it's just not valid anymore. Uh, since we now have pro mode. And if you notice that like, I, I go to free mode and I go to pro mode, it uh, basically still stays like that. You click register. Account registered. Test username, my password. Test username, my password. There we go. All right. So basically, we didn't really do much on this part. So you may notice that if we click around the app, there's actually nothing working. And we can see here that the delete record's not working because there's literally no message at all. Let's go ahead and find button 26. And we'll notice that there is no button 26. Because we need to create a sending section, which we have. Uh, if you remember from the original sections of AIR, um, we call it chat. Basically, it showed all of this, and we were still trying to fix this up. So let's change the UI on here. So portal. Let's keep the background color. Go to send, and change that color. There we go. Looks more, a little better. And see, I want to copy this part. So I'm trying to think how we're going to do that. Okay, so you know what? Make it easier for everybody. I'm going to go to Portal, and I'm going to duplicate this screen. 
and this will be the send screen, but I'll just do send temp uh, as a temporary screen just for now. And I just want to copy this part. The rest we can just delete. Delete. Um, we can change this to go back. And get rid of from, get rid of level 37. Get rid of sub and I'll get rid of that. And this must be the ID label. Uh, I'm assuming, so we'll get that out. Send temp. All right. So basically, we're just gonna grab whatever's on here. So we can see that there's a go back button. That's button 22, and most likely all the code that we implemented from before uh, will go onto there. So get rid of that. And send um, send temp button 22. So it's a good idea just to add an extra number. Just make sure that you go back to the ID to make sure that the number is exact. And another thing also, when you're creating a ID for your button, make sure that the exact name, a lot of people usually will put like a capital B, but the code is a lowercase b. Making sure that uh, you make, uh, make sure that your code and the ID on your button is perfect. Uh, and it's exact, and it is case sensitive. All right, so we have the user account name. So this is when some type of user is, it's when you are basically sending it to someone else. So uh, that is text input five, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Go right here and name it text input five. When we do that though, uh, I find that the borders on here is a little bit dated. Uh, not sure if everybody is thinking that though, but to me, I feel like it's a little dated. So we're going to get rid of the border radius. I mean, not the border radius, um, the border width. And there we go. Takes out the borders. And I'm going to go ahead and put a border radius so it's not sharp. If we notice here on the corners, we'll see that it's curved. And what I find best on making these apps is instead of trying to um, calculate it mathematically, uh, I tried to put a button right here. And if you can look very closely, you'll notice that there's a white, um, the white edge right here. If uh, I, I, I sort of like doing this because it's more easier to centering your, ob to centering anything from your design toolbox. Okay, and the placeholder is going to be, uh, let's see, uh, to account, or we'll just say to which account. Okay, so when we do the to which account, now on this end, we have the subject line. So that one is text input six. So when you're writing an email, you should always add a subject. And it's perfect, so we exactly know what the goal of the message is. So we'll just put text input six, duplicate that, text input six, and that's going to be the subject line. Okay. Now we have a few things going on here. So we have status one camera and photo select one but um we're gonna put those on the top because for now and we're going to grab text area two get rid of that for the send temp and text area two same thing let's get rid of the border width add a border radius and we can make this sort of small now, let's not make it too small because we don't want it to seem like it's everything is trying to be cramped inside. But the reason why we want, uh, we're, it's okay making it like this, we don't have to put it to the left and right screen, is because you can scroll uh, on a text area. Uh, unlike a text input, a text area, you can put multiple paragraphs and you can just scroll down, scroll up. So you can see the whole entire message while keeping the width and height uh, sort of smaller. 
So, on your send, uh, we have the button 26, which is a send button. So, I'll go ahead and make that black for now. I'll do send. And keep the border radius probably around a 5. And I'll put it right here on the bottom. Of course, we need to space it out. So I'll just use an extra button. And there we go. We have send. Okay. So now remember the photo select button. And I will go more into depth with the photo select button. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this photo select button. And right here on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and drag that. And we have the photo select one. Now, let's go ahead and make it a little small. I'll put it right here. And I'll lower down the icon size. And we'll make it blue. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that uh, the, in order to upload photos to your Air Pro account, I, or, I mean to your Air account, you need to have Pro membership. And this is a great way to let's say create a subscription service or um yes yeah, some type of service where you do need to get pro in order for you to upload photos but if you're like a regular user you wouldn't be a uh, you would you would um you would be able to use or uh, you would be able to see the photos now uh, a great example of this is linkedin linkedin uh uses a service like this where you can't message people in like directly if you're not following them and it's a great uh thing for linkedin because that means premium service users need need that in order for you to message other people and you'll see in a minute how air will work exactly uh so follow along with me so we uh still Let's go to the send screen and you will notice that we have a status one underscore camera on the ID. So this is basically just going to say uh, photo uploaded. So I'm going to go to send temp. And we're going to go ahead and put that there. And let's go ahead and remove anything from there. And then we'll do status one underscore camera. And basically your message would, uh, your message would basically go here. And we'll go ahead and get rid of that for now. And let's go to send, see if there's anything else, any elements. We can easily just go to the drop down arrow to see. And we only have label 20, which is just this one. We'll get rid of that. And I'll just delete send the original send and we'll go to send temp and change the screen to send okay so now we need to figure out how the photo select button will work now there are various methods and i won't say that this is the only method but basically we're going to put an image probably around here and of course we can move it anytime uh, but for now, we'll just put it right here. And yeah, it's been spaced out right here. And this will be the image preview. And you know, I'll just make it all lowercase image preview. And I'll, um, I'll put a border width on here just so we know um, where it ends. So, and you know what? No, we'll, we'll leave it status one underscore camera, but we'll keep it that way. Okay. So here we, uh, let's go ahead and see our code. Uh, we see that if we click button 26, then it's going to create a record on the username from username. So the username is text input five, which can be found on the portal screen. Where's text input? Uh, I mean, not the portal screen, sorry. The login. It's not the login. Did we put on the menu? We did where's text input five so basically the username uh text input five is go would go probably around here 
Um, next input file is right here, right here. Username is the to username, like the word's going to. The from username is coming from the username section. For that, okay. Basically, we're going to get rid of the get text username and we're going to go ahead and get it from username ext. And we can find this on the portal screen and the ID is username ext. Here it is. Username ext. Next, we have the subject line. So when we go back to send, we'll see that's coming from text input 6, which works. Then we have the message, text area 2. We got that. Uh, time sent, it'll be from the date element. And the image. And we see that it's getting the image URL from photo select one. Now, before we do this, we're going to make it a little easier. Uh, let's go ahead and change the get image URL to the image preview. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a send uh, comment. And on here, I'm going to do an on event to photo select one. So basically what we want to do is that when you upload an image right here, then it will put it on the image preview. So you'll be able to understand that that's the image that you want to upload. Because if we did not have this image preview, then it wouldn't work. So when on event image or photo select one is selected, basically we will grab a set image URL and it'll go to the image preview and we will grab not that get image URL and that image URL is going to be from the photo select one. Okay. So let's test this first. So we need to go to the portal screen and we need to actually add a send button. So we'll go to the portal screen. All right, I'm just gonna add a new comment and we'll name it portal. So we know that all the code goes from the portal screen. I'll go to on event and we'll do image 10. And uh, that screen to then. Okay. So let's try this out. And let's go ahead and upload a photo. Okay. See if I, when I uploaded a photo, I just noticed that there was a little error on my end. Line 28, that image URL is undefined. And I think I see what's going on is because there is no because we since we're clicking it we're actually have nothing in it um when we click it uh basically when i click the what it's pretending that this is a button basically and uh since i did that there's no image automatically so it doesn't really do much okay there we go so basically now that i fixed it uh we can notice here that uh, I changed something. Instead of click, because we're literally clicking and it automatically tries to find an image, but there's no image because, of course, we're searching for it. I selected change. And that is because we want, uh, it's not really going to do anything unless it changes, something changes within that element. And in this, we are changing the image. Uh, or we're selecting an image, so it changes it. And when I were to change an image, it basically would do, it will basically change it to a different image. So you can he see here, I have the 9 plus 10 equals 21 with a pencil in it. So that's perfect. Now we can send it to someone else. Anyways, we'll stop right here today. Uh, in the next video, I am thinking that we're going to be uh, trying to fix the receiving message side. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.